Good morning to your brothers and sisters. Now, just uh, when I came down this morning from upstairs, I was looking for my notebook. My wife came up pointing to the notebook, and yet I did not see. Very similar. Any eyes and do not see because I was looking for my notebook. Where is my notebook? Okay, and I remember I gave a sermon to my wife. Ten years, you do not hear. That's why ladies always complain. The men, huh? Have to tell them again and again. And today's my sermon is about, and yet you do not remember. Well, memory is one of the most important things, and it's a mystery to scientists. To today, they still do not know where our memory are stored. But imagine if you do not have good memory, it makes a lot of difference. Uh, just, uh, just now maybe Brother Hansi was not very uh, tired. He was praying for Brother Tommy. <laughs> uh, although I am doing the sermon, okay, but never mind. But what I'm trying to say is memory is very important, isn't it? Imagine if I come up upstairs, I've forgotten everything. Am I supposed to do this sermon? Oh, memory is indeed very important. People actually uh, all depends on how good it is your memory. In school, you've been studying. If, if, if you were to teach our children that it's an apple, but next moment you say that it's an orange, oh, something is wrong. Something. We have to be very, very careful. And uh, what we need to understand is memory is very important in certain sense. Okay, memory defines self. We are what we remember. Okay, and that self is accumulation of what we remember in our learning, in our experiences. What you have gone through in life, those things that help you remember, those things that impact you, actually makes you a different person. That's why our memory is very important. If we delete those memory, oh, oh, what happens if you go to the hospital the next moment, your wife or your husband or children? You are my baby, yeah? or you are my mother. Oh, totally gone. So memory actually indeed defines self. But every one of us indeed have good memory. We have same uh, brain uh, structures uh, with the numbers or neurons, it's, uh, it's the same. But how good or bad are our memory? Or a lot of times people are uh, brainless, good memory or bad memory. It depends on what actually we, we are focused on. Okay? So, people around us usually tend to brainless a person with a good memory or otherwise, depending on what they attach importance to what we remember or what we forget. If you are a, a, a lawyer, Okay, all the laws you can remember so well, but maybe when it comes to certain figures, oh, oh I can't remember. That's because during that time, oh, you are know, having good memory because that is important to you at that moment of time. Okay, so what you, you uh, have importance, people take it as important will say, oh, you have good memory, just like for us who are computer guy, or oh, anything related to computer can remember very easily, but answer something else. Sorry, my wife asked me to buy something. I said, what then? <laughs> so, people always tend to brand us whether we're good or not. It depends on what they think is important. But what we think is important actually makes a lot of difference. That's why today's message I would like to uh, emphasize what we remember even in our spiritual life. What God's want us to remember is very important. Although, memory of, of course, scientists tell us that it's a skill that we can improve. We can uh, improve on our memory. But whether you have the interest, that makes the difference. If you don't have the interest, you cannot remember. Scientists already discovered that uh, the three evils of uh, why we have bad memories. First thing, we do not have interest. If we do not have interest, you will not remember that. So that's why for us, our computer guy, we always remember about computer because we have interest in that area. Legal people who are loyal will remember things about the law. Why we remember about cooking recipes and like that. Uh, children will be remembers all things about computers, uh, games, you know, where I don't know what is it, all the command, you can cheat, you can remember every, every part, how to change the game, and this and that, which area. So it depends on your interest, you not interest, no matter how, you will not have a good memory. It's interest driven. The brain has to remember what's all is interesting and for what, what is not so interesting. But the problem is, in life, there are also many important things that may not be interesting at all. That we need to remember. Of course, it's interesting things you can remember, but there are also very important things that may not be interesting, but we need to remember. If we turn to a book of Genesis, 
turn to your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 40. There's a passage here in the book of Genesis chapter 40 where it talks about Joseph uh, able to interpret uh, these two prisoners' dream, asking them to remember him. Okay, but they forgot. Okay, turn to the book of Genesis chapter 20, uh, chapter 40, sorry. I've just forgotten this now. Genesis chapter 40, verse 1 onwards. It came to pass after this thing, <coughs> after an invader of the king of Egypt offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was angry with these two officers, the chief butler and the chief baker. And so he put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard in the prison, in the place where Joseph was confined. And the captain of the guard guarded Joseph with them, and he served them. So they were in custody for a while. Then the popular and favor of the king of Egypt, who were confined in the prison, had a dream. Both of them, each man's dream in one night, and each man's dream in his own interpretation. And Joseph came to them in the morning and looked at them and saw that they were sad. So he asked Pharaoh's officer who were with him in the custody of his lost house, saying, Why do you look so sad today? Verse 8. And they said to him, We each have a dream and there is no interpreter of it. So Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me, tell them to me, please. Verse 9. Then the chief butler told him dream to Joseph and said to him, Behold, you my dream, a wine was before me, and in the wine were three branches, it was as though it but his uh bottom should prop and his cluster brought forth uh, grapes. Verse 11. And then Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup and, and placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Verse 4, uh, 12. And Joseph said to him, This interpretation of it, the three branches are three days, now within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your place, and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand according to the formal manner which when you were his butler. But remember me. Joseph was saying in verse 14, When he is well with you, and please show kindness to me, and make mentions of me to Pharaoh, and get me out of this house. For indeed I was stolen away from the land of the Hebrew, and also I have done nothing here that they should put me in the dungeons. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he says to Joseph, I was also, I also was in my dream, and there were three bright baskets on my head. In the uppermost basket were all kinds of big goods for pharaohs and the birds asked them out of the basket on my head. So Joseph answered and said, this is the interpretation of the three baskets. Uh, the three baskets are three days. Within three days, pharaohs will lift up your head from you and hang you on the tree and the birds will eat your flesh from you. And now it came to pass on the third day, which was pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast for all his servants and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and the chief baker among his servant. Then he restored a chief butler to his butler ship and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged, he was going to be hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet the chief butler did not remember Joseph but forgot him. So this uh, butler uh, passage tells you that <coughs> the person also forgotten the important thing in all her. He got a the dream interpreter and a life. It, it can happen to any one of us and we don't have interest. But later on, if you were to read the next chapter, was uh, 9 itself, later on, the chief butler spoke to Pharaoh and said, Oh, I remember my thought this day. That's because Pharaoh now need to have a dream that nobody can interpret. And this chief butler said, Oh, I know the person by the name of Joseph and Kappa. It's because of his own interest, that's why he remember. So it's due to interest. Without interest, you will not remember a lot of things. Okay? But another reason that if you want to improve your memory is that you must have belief. If you believe that you are getting old, old people always cannot remember, then you tend to be like that. You tend to forget even more. The, a lot of reasons why we forget things is when we start to jot it down, on a notebook, draw it down, a piece of paper, that's because we think that we cannot remember. And when you do that, you forget even more. <laughs> so the more you draw down, actually, you, you forgot even more. 
So it depends a lot on your belief. If you have belief that you can uh, memorize, you can uh, remember all, you can do it. I remember uh, Brother Frank Pierce. You do not need to refer to scripture like just now I need to refer to the Bible and read to you all. You can just pull it up. And uh, what happened to your brother Tommy did it, isn't it? Remember he just stood in front of you as a uh, read one passage from the book of Matthew. You can write it. It's just a matter of whether you have the belief. If you believe, you can remember, you can remember. But if you don't believe that you can do it, you can never remember. So that is why also two children, some can score, some cannot, because some of them say, I am very stupid and cannot remember whatever I study. But to some they say, Okay, everything also can remember, just one read that can remember. So it all boils down to your belief. You need to use it if you want to remember further. That's what scientists discover is if you don't use, whatever you have uh, memorized also will be gone. 